Today we will be making this buzzy bee, so crochet hooks at the ready and let's get going. So we're going to begin with our bee's face. So I'm going to start with my yellow DK yarn and my 3.5mm hook. I'm going to do a slip knot onto my hook and then I'm going to chain two. So that's one and two. Now into the second chain from hook, I'm going to do six single crochets. I think it's about time we started doing some giveaways. So if you want to be in with a chance to win any of my individual written patterns from my pattern store, then make sure you are subscribed to me and check the description box below for a link that will take you to enter the giveaway. So back to the tutorial. So that is our first round and we've got six single crochets. Now for our next round we're going to increase to 12 stitches so I'm going to do two single crochets into each of these six stitches. So I'm not going to join and chain one, I'm just going to continue to single crochet around in a spiral. So into the first stitch, which sometimes you have to loosen before you go into it, I'm going to do two single crochets. So one and two. Into the second stitch, another two single crochets, three and four. Into the third stitch, another two, five and six. Into the next, another two, seven and eight. Two into the next, nine and ten. And finally, two into the very last stitch. 11 and 12. So we've now got 12 single crochets and we're going to increase again from 12 stitches to 18. So I'm going to single crochet in one stitch and then do two single crochets into the following stitch and I'm going to do that six times. So into the first stitch I'm going to do one single crochet and then I'm going to increase in the next stitch for two and three. Single crochet four Increase in the next four, five, and six. Single crochet for seven. Increase for eight and nine. Single crochet for ten. Increase for eleven and twelve. Single crochet for thirteen. Increase for fourteen and fifteen. single crochet for 16 and increase in the last stitch for 17 and 18. So for our next row we're going to increase to 24 stitches and to do that we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches and then we're going to do two single crochets into the following stitch and we're going to do that six times. So I'm going to single crochet for one and two and increase in the next stitch for three and four. Single crochet five and six. Increase for seven and eight. Single crochet for nine and ten. Increase for eleven and twelve. Single crochet thirteen. 14, increase for 15 and 16, single crochet 17 and 18, increase for 19 and 20, and then single crochet 21, 22, and increase in the last stitch for 23 and 24. So we're next we're going to increase to 30 stitches so I'm going to single crochet into three stitches and then I'm going to do two single crochets into the following stitch and we're going to do that six times. So single crochet one and two, three and then increase for four and five and five single crochet for six, seven, eight Increase in the next stitch for 9 and 10. Single crochet 11, 12, 
13, increase for 14 and 15. Single crochet, 16, 17, 18, increase for 19 and 20. Single crochet, 21, 22, 23, increase for 24 and 25. And then single crochet for 26, 27, 28, increase into the last stitch for 29 and 30. Our next row we're going to increase again from 30 stitches to 36. So I'm going to single crochet into 4 stitches and then do 2 single crochets into the following stitch and we're going to do that 6 times. So we're going to just get some more yarn and then single crochet for 1. Two, three, four, four again, four, increase in the next stitch for five and six. Single crochet, seven, eight, nine, ten, and increase for eleven and twelve and 12, single crochet, 13, 14, 15, 16, increase for 17 and 18, single crochet, 19, 20, 21, 22, increase for 23 and 24, single crochet, 25, 26, 27, 28, increase for 29 and 30, and then single crochet for 31, 32, 33, 34, and increase in our last stitch for 35 and 36. So we're going to do another increase round and we're going to increase from 36 stitches to 42. So I'm going to single crochet in 5 stitches then I'm going to do 2 single crochets for the following stitch 6 times. So single crochet for 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Increase in the next stitch for 6 and 7. Single crochet 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, and increase for 13 and 14. Single crochet for 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and increase for 20 and 21. Single crochet 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, and increase in the next stitch for 27 and 28. And then single crochet 29 and 30, 31, 32, 33, and increase for 34 and 35. And then single crochet for 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and increase in the last stitch for 41 and 42. So we're going to do one more round of increasing and we're going to increase from 42 stitches to 48. And to do that we're going to single crochet into 6 stitches and then do 2 single crochets into the following stitch 6 times. So let's get going. So single crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and increase in the next stitch for 7 and 8. Single crochet for 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
and then increase in the next stitch for 15 and 16, single crochet 17, 18, 19, 20, and 20 again, 20, 21, 22, and increase in the next stitch for 23 and 24. Single crochet for 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, increase in the next stitch for 31 and 32, then single crochet for 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 37 again, 38, increase in the next stitch for 39 and 40, grab some more yarn, and then single crochet for 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, and increase into the last stitch for 47 and 48. So that is all our increases done and if your piece looks a little bit like a hexagon then you've done it right. So what we're going to do for our next round is just single crochet around all these 48 stitches for one row. So single crochet 48 stitches one time and 48. So we can now fasten off with our yellow yarn so I'm going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch, chain one, and then I can fasten off with this yarn. We can weave in our tails a bit later. Next we will be adding our black DK yarn. And what we're going to have to do now is wherever we make our colour change make sure we make it in the same place for all the colour changes to come and that will make sense a little bit later on but we want all our colour changes to be at the bottom of our B so that you can't see them so to do my colour change or to add my black yarn I'm going to do a slip knot onto my hook and then I'm going to insert my hook into any of the stitches at the bottom of my work or where I want the bottom to be I'm then going to yarn over and pull through. So I have two loops on my hook. And then I'm going to yarn over again and pull through both of these loops. And that is my first single crochet. So now I'm going to single crochet around all these stitches. So 48 stitches. And I'm going to do that for five rows. So I'm not going to do any increases or decreases. I'm just going to single crochet around and around for five rows. And if you have trouble keeping count of your rows, make sure to put a stitch marker in here. And if not, just get going. So that's number two, three. And if you see, I'm weaving in the tail of my yarn for the first couple of stitches. So I'm holding it between my working yarn and my piece of work so that it's included between my stitches and that way I won't have to weave it in at the end and then I can just drop that after a couple of stitches and continue as normal. Just coming to the last couple of stitches of my black yarn, two more, and then I'm going to fasten off and cut this yarn. So I'm going to do a slip stitch and a chain one and then I can cut my yarn and it's time to do another colour change. So we're going to change back to yellow now. So if I bring in my yellow yarn, slip knot onto my hook, I'm going to find the same place I did my initial colour change, and I'm going to make sure that I do this, this colour change in the same place. So I'm going to insert my hook into stitch, yarn over, pull through. So I've got two loops on my hook, yarn, on, yarn over and pull through both of these loops. And I'm going to do five rounds of single crochet with yellow. 
And as you can see, I'm weaving in the tails of both of the yarns as I go with five rounds of single crochet with my yellow yarn. So I've got a couple of stitches left on my last round of yellow. Then I'm going to fasten off with this yellow colour and I'm going to change back to black for another five rows of black. So that was my last stitch. I'm going to fasten off. And then I can bring my black yarn back in. Make sure to do the colour change in the same place as my previous two. And now another five rows of single crochet around, but with black. So I'm just finishing the last couple of stitches of black. Then we have one more colour change to do. So last stitch, and then I can fasten off. And before we do our next colour change, because during our next colour change we're going to start decreasing at the opposite end to close our B up. So now, whilst I have the opportunity, I'm going to insert his eyes. So for our B, I'm going to use 10mm eyes, safety eyes. So I'm going to put these between rows 4 and 5 and they're going to be five stitches apart. So the first thing you want to do is find all your colour changes because that's going to be at the bottom of our work. So that's going to help us know where we're going to put the eyes. So then looking at them, I'm going to count four rows out. So one, two, three, four. So between this row and the next, four and five, I'm going to insert his first eye. I'm not going to put the back on yet because I just want to check that it's going to look okay. And from that eye, I'm going to count five stitches over. So one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to insert the second eye. And then have a look. Check you're happy with where the eyes are. And if so, I'm happy with them. We're going to put the backs on. Make sure you clip these on tight because you don't want the eyes popping out if you give this away as a gift. There we go. So both the eyes are on. And now we can continue with our decreases at the opposite end. So we bring our yellow yarn back in. I'm going to do a slip knot onto my hook. And in the same place as normal. I'm going to join the yellow yarn and I'm only going to do this time three rounds of yellow so I'm going to single crochet around all these stitches but only for three rows and when I've done that I'll meet you back here and we'll start to do our decreases. The last couple of stitches on my third row and then we can start doing our decreases. There we go. So at the moment we have 48 stitches and we want to reduce to 42. So I'm going to single crochet 6 stitches and then I'm going to single crochet 2 stitches together and I'm going to do that 6 times. So single crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now I'm going to single crochet the next two stitches together and to do that I'm going to take my hook and go underneath the front loop only of the first stitch. I'm then going to go straight under the front loop only of the second stitch, yarn over, pull through both of the loops, so there are two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through these two loops. And that is me single crocheting two stitches together, so just single crochet two together for my seventh stitch. So now I'm going to single crochet for 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and now I'm going to single crochet 2 together again for 14, 
I'm going to do all the single crochets together the same way. So that was 14, then single crochet, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Single crochet two together for 21. And then single crochet 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, then decrease for 28, then single crochet for 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, decrease for 35, then single crochet for 36, 37, 38, 39 and 40, 41 and decrease for 42. So we're now going to decrease from 42 stitches to 36. So I'm going to single crochet five stitches and then single crochet two stitches together and I'm going to do that six times. So I'm going to single crochet for one, two, three, four, five, bring some yarn up and now I'm going to decrease for six. Single crochet, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and single crochet two together for twelve. Single crochet, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen and decrease for 18 single crochet 19 20 21 22 23 and decrease for 24 single crochet 25 26 27 28, 29, decrease for 30, then single crochet 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 and decrease for 36. So we've now got 36 stitches and we now want to decrease to 30 so I'm going to single crochet in 4 stitches and then I'm going to single crochet 2 stitches together and I'm going to repeat that 6 times so single crochet for 1 2 3 4 decrease for 5 And then single crochet six, seven, eight, nine, and decrease for ten. Oh. There we go. Single crochet eleven. 12, 13, 14, decrease for 15, single crochet 16, 17, 18, 19, decrease for 20, single crochet 21, 22, 23, 24, decrease for 25, 
Then single crochet 26, 27, 28, 29 and decrease for 30. There we go. So before we do any more decreases I'm going to get some stuffing and we can start to fill them out. So that's all I'm going to do for now. We'll do a couple more decreases and then I'll do the final stuff in a little bit. So we've got 30 stitches and now I want to decrease to 24. Oop, just get that piece of... There we go. We want to decrease to 24. So I'm going to single crochet three stitches and then single crochet two stitches together six times. So it's a little bit more difficult to crochet once you've done uh, put some stuffing in your work. So just take your time. So single crochet for one, two, three, decrease for four, single crochet five, six, seven, decrease for eight. Single crochet, nine, ten, eleven, decrease for twelve, single crochet, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, decrease for sixteen. Single crochet, 17, 18, 19, decrease for 20, then single crochet, 21, 22, 23, and decrease for 24. So we now want to decrease to 18 stitches. So we're going to single crochet two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together and we're going to do that six times. So single crochet for one and two and then decrease for three. Single crochet four, five, Decrease for six. Single crochet seven. Ooh, single crochet seven. Eight. Decrease for nine. Single crochet ten. Eleven. Decrease for 12. Single crochet 13. 14. Decrease for 15. Single crochet 16. 17. And decrease for 18. So we've now got one round of decreases left. So before we do this final round, I'm going to add some more stuff into our B. Now our final decrease round, we're going to decrease from 18 stitches to 12. And to do that, I'm going to single crochet in one stitch and then single crochet two stitches together and I'm going to do that six times. So single crochet one, decrease for two, single crochet two, 
single crochet three, decrease for four, single crochet five, decrease for six, single crochet seven, decrease for eight, single crochet nine, decrease for ten, single crochet eleven, and decrease for twelve. Okay, so now I'm going to join my yarn and I can fasten off to leave a little bit of a tail because we'll use this to close the hole up in a little bit. So I've left about 12 inches, which I won't need, but... And if you want, you can add a little bit more stuff in through this hole. So to seal this hole, I'm going to take my embroidery needle and thread this tail onto it. Now I'm going to go around the remaining 12 stitches and I'm going to pick up the front loop only of each of the stitches. So the front loop only in consecutive order, so I'm going to do them one after each other. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Ten, eleven, and the last one, twelve, and then I'm going to pull tight and that hole will naturally close. And then I'm going to thread or we'll weave in this dark th th this tail even more because we don't want that to unravel. So I'm going to go around that hole a couple of times and then I'm going to weave the yarn tail in and out of the B in the yellow section just a couple of times so that the tail is really lost and then I can cut. So now you can make sure your B looks exactly the way you want it and all the stuffing is evenly distributed. And next I'm going to get some black yarn I'm going to pop it onto the same embroidery needle. I'm going to give Mr. B a little mouth. The stuffing inside can sometimes disturb the way your eyes sit on your dolls. So just use your needle to poke through and reposition them. So I'm going to do a smile now on Mr. B, which will go probably here. So it's row one, two, three, four between row four and five, again on the opposite side. So I'm going to bring the yarn in from the side of my B. Bring out where I want the smile. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a tail at the side. And then I'm just gonna do a back stitch and use the natural lines of the circle of our crochet from that row. to sew them on a nice smile. Keep checking, make sure you're happy with how it looks. And on my last stitch, I'm gonna take the needle and bring it back out at the back of my B. And I'm gonna thread these black tails the same way I did the yellow ones. I'm just going to sew it in and out of the B a couple of times for both of the tails. And now I can cut these two ends off. To make the cheeks, you're going to take some pink yarn, slip knot onto your hook, and chain two. So that's one and two. Into the second chain from hook, 
we're going to do six single crochets. So one and two, three, four, five and six. And then I'm going to do a slip stitch into the first stitch of this round. So I'm just loosening it off a bit. I'm going to do a slip stitch to join, make it into a little circle, chain one, and then I'm going to cut my yarn, leaving about a 12 inch tail. And this is going to be one of our bee's cheeks. So if I bring our bee back in, I'm going to take my embroidery needle and the tail that is at the back, so not the tail that we cut long, the tail from the very beginning, I'm going to pop that onto my needle first and I'm going to insert this one stitch higher than the tip of a smile. This is just to stabilise my cheek down, so I don't want that tail in the way. And now I'm going to sew all around the cheek to make sure it's pressed firm and nice. And if you need to, you can always add a pin to keep it in place. So now I'm going to thread the opposite tail onto my needle. And I'm going to pick up the outside stitch beneath the cheek and then the stitch at the very outside of the cheek. I don't want that pin in and I'm going to do that all the way around to secure the cheek into place so I'm going to pick up the stitch directly beneath the edge stitch of the cheek I'm going to go all the way around giving this to the six stitches Two more stitches left. If you didn't want to sew these on, you could always glue them onto the face with a bit of super glue. But if you give them as gifts, I don't like to super glue things down in case they come off. Okay, do. So there we go. So I've sewn all the edges down, and then I'm going to thread the yarn tail exactly the same way as I did with the black and the yellow end tail. So I'm going to weave it in. And if you're cutting the tail of a different colour than what's on your what's on your actual wear, before you cut with your scissors, press down and flatten the wear so that when you trim the end and it puffs back out, the tail will be inside and you won't see you won't see the colour of the tail. So if I cut this without pressing it down you're always going to see the little bit of the colour coming through your work. So you can get rid of it by inserting your embroidery needle underneath and just wiping it out the way. But if you press down, cut and then let it re-puff itself out, you won't see it. So there's one of our bee's cheeks and now you need to go away and do that again for the second cheek. Sew it down and then I'll meet you back here and we'll begin to make his wings. So to begin the wings, we're obviously going to have to make two of these, but I'll show you how to make one. You're going to take your white DK yarn, slip knot onto hook, and I'm going to chain two. And the beginning of the wing is really similar to the beginning, or exactly the same as the beginning of the bee's face. We're basically going to increase in a circle until we get to 30 stitches. So into the second chain from hook, I'm going to do six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five and six. And then for our next round I'm going to do two single crochets into all of these stitches. So one and two, three, and four, 
five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten, eleven and twelve. So we're now going to increase to 18 stitches, which means we're going to single crochet one and then do two single crochets in the following stitch six times. So single crochet for one, increase for two and three, single crochet four, increase for five and six, single crochet seven, increase for eight and nine, single crochet 10, increase for 11 and 12, single crochet 13, increase for 14 and 15, single crochet 16, increase for 17 and 18. For our next round we're going to increase to 24 stitches so we're going to single crochet 2 and then do 2 single crochets in the following stitch 6 times. So single crochet 1 and 2 Increase for three and four. Single crochet five, six. Increase for seven and eight. Single crochet nine, ten. Increase for eleven and twelve. Single crochet thirteen, fourteen. <coughs> Increase for fifteen and sixteen. <clears throat> single crochet 17, 18, increase for 19 and 20, single crochet 21, 22 and increase for 23 and 24. Now our last round of increases, we're going to single crochet in 3 stitches and then do 2 single crochets in the following stitch 6 times. So we're going to increase from 24 stitches to 30, so single crochet 1, Two, three, increase for four and five, single crochet six, seven, eight, increase for nine and ten, single crochet eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, increase for fourteen and fifteen. Single crochet 16, 17, 18, increase for 19 and 20. Single crochet 21, 22, 23, increase for 24 and 25. Single crochet 26, 27, 28, and increase for 29 and 30. So now I'm going to single crochet around these 30 stitches for 3 rows. So 3 rows of 30 single crochet. Okie doke, so that is the last of my 3 rows of 30. And next we're going to do a decrease round to 24. So I'm going to single crochet in 3 stitches and then single crochet 2 stitches together 6 times. So we'll do this one together. So single crochet 1, 2, and three, and then decrease for four. Single crochet five, six, seven. Then we're going to decrease for eight. Single crochet nine, ten, eleven. Decrease for twelve. Single crochet thirteen, fourteen and 15, decrease for 16, got confused then, single crochet 17, 18, 19, decrease for 20, single crochet 21, 22, 23, decrease for 24, now we're going to single crochet around these 24 stitches for another 3 rows. So 24 stitches 3 times. Okie doke, so that's my 3 rows of 24 done. 
Now I'm going to do another decrease round, so I'm going to decrease to 18 stitches, so I'm going to single crochet two, and then single crochet two together six times. So single crochet one, two, decrease for three, single crochet four, five, decrease for six, single crochet seven, eight, decrease for nine, single crochet ten, eleven, decrease for twelve, single crochet thirteen, fourteen, decrease for fifteen, single crochet sixteen, 17 and decrease for 18. So now we're going to single crochet around these 18 stitches for three rows. Okie doke. So now after I've done my three rounds of 18, I'm going to do my last decrease round which is to decrease from 18 to 12. So I'm going to single crochet in one stitch and then single crochet two stitches together and I'm going to do that six times. So single crochet one, decrease for two. Single crochet three, decrease for four. Single crochet five, decrease for six. Single crochet seven, decrease for eight. Single crochet nine, decrease for 10. single crochet 11 and decrease for 12. So now we're going to do one round of 12 single crochets and then we can join and fasten off with our wing. So one round of 12 stitches. and 12. So now I'm going to do a slip stitch to join and I can fasten off and leave a bit of a long tail because we will use this tail to attach the wing to our bee. So it's now time to attach his second wing. So we've just made this. I'm going to attach the tail onto my embroidery needle. And you can attach this any way you want. I'm just going to do it the way that I like. So I'm going to mark it up with the yellow stripe. Make sure it's evenly spaced. And we're going to pick up one of the stitches from the bee. From that first line. And then I'm going to go underneath the stitch on the edge of the wing. I'm going to do that all the way down this side of the wing. If you need to, you can always put a couple of pins in to make sure it stays in place. So I'm going to go underneath one of the stitches on the B, and then under the outside most edge of the wing. Okay, so if I hold it down for a moment, I can go down this whole side of this wing. And pull tight after each after each stitch. And when you get to the back, we're going to do one stitch in the very back. And then we can turn our bee around. Because we've only stitched one side, we're going to stitch the second side of the wing.
and the Q-Duck. So I'm happy with that. Now all I need to do is weave in this final tail. Now we can trim. And there you have our completed bee. So I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.